guys, how's it going? I hope you guys are not like this little fella here with the summer heat and all. But if you guys would like to learn how to make this bull skull slash carcass desert scene, stay tuned. The first item you'll need is an ornament. I got this one on sale after Christmas. I know it's been a while, but maybe you guys could just go to Michael's or jo Joanne's and they have all these little terrarium things and maybe you could find something similar to this. Some sand in a little container. Any kind of glue. Black acrylic paint. Some little rope or string, yarn, whatever. Pliers. Wire. A pointy tool. Something to mix with. Paintbrush. Exacto knife, dotting tool, white clay, translucent, any kind of green, granite, black, and tan clay, and some water. So I just have it in this little container, but you could have it anywhere. So yeah, I'm just adding some moisture to the sand, and then I'm just mixing it. You don't want it drenching, but just enough. So I just keep adding water here and there and mixing. So here I'm just checking and it's good. So now I'm adding the glue. A little more. And more mixing. I'm just checking to see if it feels good taking the tag off and now I'm just gonna put the sand right in there I'm gonna make it with a little slant like the back is gonna be slightly taller or higher than the front I'm just patting it down Then I'm taking my white clay with my tan clay and mixing it. This is just to get an off-white color. Right here I'm compa comparing it to an actual white. You can see the difference. But just like a bone color, I guess. I'm rolling it into a teardrop shape. And then pinching two little, like, I guess you could call them horns. Those are going to be where the horns are going to attach. And then another two little bumps right below that. It's kind of hard to explain. It's better to see it. It's good to have a reference of a bull skull when you're doing this. And I'm just smoothing out any harsh things that I made until it looks like this. I'm taking the exacto knife and kind of making cutting but like in a C shape. Not straight, in a C shape. I'm making two C's. The whole point of this is to make the snout thinner and make those the little indentation right there. So now I'm just also shaving some off from the tip of the nose. A little split to guide me where to put the nostrils. And now I'm making like a W. This is also kind of guiding me. And then I just kind of mark it more with the dotting tool, just making sure it's deep enough. Now with the dotting tool, I just take it and literally just mm, jiggle it around till it makes a bigger hole, like so. I'm just drawing the rest of the lines. Again, it varies. All those skulls are different, so I'm just using the one that I saw in my picture. And this one had two little indents right there. When I made the lines, it got distorted, but nothing, a little thing to fix. And now I'm just making the teeth. Super simple. Same on the other side. 
Now I'm continuing the line that I made earlier and making random little things in the back because that's where the skull would attach to the spinal. Um, not the spinal cord, the vertebrae. Now I'm just taking the translucent and black and kind of twisting them together to make a translucent black but it's mostly gonna be black I just want a little bit of difference for the horns this is gonna be for the horns I'm just twisting and rolling twisting and rolling now I'm adding two little balls of black to the tips and rolling them rolling the tips to make it pointy. You can make it as pointy as you like. And I cut it right in half. I cut it a little more because it was too big. And I just went ahead and cut a little piece of wire, put it right where the horn is going to go, and attach the horn. Same to the other side. So I checked and it still didn't fit, so I went ahead and trimmed it again and attached the horns right back. And now you could shape it as or shape it however you want. And I'm checking if it fits and it does. So here it is. So now I'm just gonna make the little cactus. I'm just the first time around I'm just marking like the little lines and the second time I'm actually going a little deeper making the each each section a little more defined and I just took it right off the base and pinched the bottom to make it more circular more round and this is optional but I added a little red clay to the top and just started poking at it to make it look like a little flower and just a whole bunch of little dots running along the flat side of each side and now for the lizard I just took the darker green and separated a little with my hand and made one side longer like so and then just made little snakes and cut those in half for the legs and, and arms So before I bake them, I'm making a little hole with the wire, because that's how I'm going to secure them to the sand later on. And also I'm taking the granite clay and making little rocks, just a whole bunch of them. Now they are ready to bake, all done and baked here. So I'm just taking some black paint. I'm gonna use it in every, apply it in every crevice, and then wipe it with a wet paper towel, and apply more if I need to, like I'm doing here. This is just to give it a more antique look. So right here, I'm just loosening a little bit of the sand just to make it look more real, and then I'm um, attaching the wire, cutting a little bit, and checking if it's gonna look good, and it does. Same for the cactus. I was assembling it here, but then I took it apart because you'll see in a little bit. I couldn't reach the cactus, so I had to take the the skull out. So I just applied some crazy glue and attached the rocks to the to the cactus, and then I just added the little lizard and the skull. And now it's time for the rope. And I just did a double knot. Simple. You can hang it anywhere or just have it on your desk. Whatever you like. So this is the final result. As you guys saw, I did not stick the lizard into the sand because I wanted to be able to remove it whenever I wanted to. But if you guys have any comments or suggestions, you guys know what to do. And... I hope you guys enjoyed and don't let this happen to you.
Thank you.